Well, welcome and hello to another episode of Absolutely Positively. I am your host. Hey, (laughs) y'all. I'm your host, Denny Kay, and I am super excited for today's episode because this forum was created especially for you. So I am just so excited because the quote of the day, I hope, will be a light of inspiration. Anyway, (laughs) again, as I was saying, I am Denny Kay, I am your host, and this forum was created especially for you. This forum is to encourage, inspire, and motivate. And really what I call the IEM, inspire, encourage, motivate. I said it in the wrong order, but you get my feeling. I love this Absolutely Positively Forum because it helps me and hopefully it helps you that you will understand that you are wonderfully and beautifully made and everybody has a superpower. Everyone has this seed of inspiration and encouragement within them to be motivated to their greatness. So without further ado, We just gonna rock with it. You know how we do it absolutely positively. I love words, I love quotes, because for me, those words will continue to ruminate in my mind and I'll think about them later. And those are the very seeds that get birthed and planted um, that gives you what you see before you, which is this girl with a lot of things to say, but who is motivated every day. Cause you know, I don't always have good times. Um, and so sometimes these words or something someone has spoken to me um, helps me through my day. And so that's why it is my mission to do the same for you. All right, without further ado, let's reach into our jar and pull out our quotes of the day. It comes to us from Desmond Tutu. Oh my goodness. This man, he has done so much for our community, so much for our world. Um, Just a thought-provoking, peaceful man um, trying to unite us, trying to get us to think a little bit higher and push that unity and peace forward. So Desmond Tutu, I love you, man. I love you. Um, And if you don't know how to spell his last name, so you can look up all the wonderful things he's done. His last name is spelled T-U-T-U. I love that about him too. Desmond Tutu. So this is what Mr. Tutu says. He says, hope is being able to see that there is a light despite all of the darkness. Whoop, whoop. Hope is being able to see that there is a light despite all of the darkness. So I know you thought that I was trying to set some other kind of mood probably, you know, with the the dark atmosphere and this single little light in the back. Well, you know, I'm a big, huge, huge fan of lighthouses. So much so that my company name um, where Denny K is housed is the Lighthouse Shine. And the reason why this is one of my favorite quotes, well, I'm probably, I'm probably sure I say that every week, um, but they are, they are quotes. I mean, the lighthouse um, is, is who I am, but this quote really <laughs> aligns with the lighthouse. And of course, every quote is my favorite. So anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> this quote means everything to me because it helped me start my company, The Lighthouse Shines. And so he's saying that if you can find a little light in the darkness, if you can just find, and it don't have to be much, it can be a little stream, it could be a little flicker, it could be just something that is different from all the darkness that you're seeing, then that's where hope lives. It is the breeding ground for hope. I can't tell you how many times that I have been somewhere and when I saw just a little bit of light, I got excited. No no matter if I was in a dark room and 
that flicker of light or that little piece of light kind of helped me understand that's the next place I need to go. I need to go to that place because it's lit. I'll be able to see or if it is outside um, and you just can't see and you're trying to find out where to go, a little bit of light can just mean make or break you, right? So I have so many stories that I'm going to share on this topic. So please ride with me. Keep, please stay with me. I hope that it motivates you. But just recently, I went to Florida with my little big brother <laughs> and to celebrate, uh, you know, a wonderful uh, momentous occasion, me turning a, a year older. But we were uh, trying to walk to our destination and we are on the street of Florida, and we realized that it is dark, but there were no streetlights. And we were like, what is going on? You know, the only thing that we were able to journey towards was the light of the incoming cars. And we thought, wow, this is crazy. What kind of city or state doesn't have um, streetlights? So, Needless to say, after a little while, they did come on. So they were set on the timer. But boy, man, when those lights came on, it was the difference literally between night and day. I know that's a crazy pun, but it was. It was literally the difference between night and day because from that motion of that light coming on, and, and what I loved about it, it was a slow, dim, you know, growing brighter and brighter that as it grew brighter, as that light grew brighter, we were able to see our destination more clearly uh, and, and just, it, it was more vivid uh, of where we were trying to go. And we didn't have to depend on the upcoming cars, the, the, uh, the cars that were coming. So that was wonderful because again, the cars were not coming as steadily as we have, had wanted. So once the car passed, we were back in the dark. So just that steady stream of light is what I love. And so that's why this lighthouse is here, that even with a little flicker of light, we get excited, right? We, we see a little hope. But what if it was a constant streaming, uh, a beam, ray of light that continued to make sure that it wasn't dark? Now that's some hope for you. And that's what the lighthouse does. If you don't know uh, lighthouses, there's not a lot that um, uh, continue to operate. But back in the day, especially when ships were very prevalent um, on the seas, lighthouse was the only thing that uh, would allow the ships from not crashing into the shore. So powerful, such a powerful symbol, but an important job that it, and they had to have someone manning the lighthouse, of course, but that beam of light that would constantly rotate around to give the captains of the ship or in a boat or whatever you were in, it was a signal to say, hey, the lighthouse is there, then the storm, uh, the shore is close by. And so I want to make sure that I don't veer into the rocks. And such a powerful, powerful job the lighthouse keeper and the lighthouse has. And so if we can tap into lights, if we can look at our situation and find a little bit of light, a little bit of illumination, then we can activate what God has called us to do, number one. But then we can turn a situation that was probably dark and turn it to light, something positive, something motivating. But what Desmond Tutu says, that's where hope lives. So if you're in a situation and you're not feeling a lot of hope, maybe it's a job that you're trying to get because we're still in pandemic times. The, the news is devastating to see how many people are suffering right now because they are trying to find not the job of their dreams, but a job. Maybe it's a, a situation in a relationship. Maybe it's something at work. 
maybe it's mental health. May, we're in May right now, and May is mental health awareness. Maybe it's something where the darkness is overcoming, that it is trying to take you out. And so Desmond remind us is if, if we're able to see that there is some light despite all the, despite all of the darkness, then that's where hope lives. I'm adding that part. But that's hope. That's what hope is. It's being able to see um, the light that is so dimming sometimes. So just remember that this can be a dark world. This can be a environment that is very cumbersome. And it's hard to it's hard to fathom how you're going to get through it. But if you can see a little bit of darkness, so please, 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 please remember that finding that light can be the difference between lightness and dark. That hope is right there waiting for you if you would open your eyes and take a moment to see the light. I want you to have that light. I want you to have that hope. So no matter what you're going through, no matter whatever it is, find that light no matter what the cost is so you can have some hope just a little sliver and if you can find a little sliver it's going to take you all the way it really is and, and getting a support group of people around you that are hopeful so many things that you can do but i hope that this quote gives you motivation that when you are in the midst of some darkness is to search for the light and that's where hope lives i remember also that because I, I love operating in the dark. Literally, I, I will walk around the whole house because I'm just so familiar where things are. And darkness, for some reason, is just calming to me. So it doesn't necessarily mean trouble for me. Sometimes I like to operate in the dark. But I promise you, when I need to see, it is nothing but a light switch away that I will flick it on and do what I need to do so I can see in the darkness. And so I hope that that this quote will be just that, that you will search for the light switch that you need to be able to see in the darkness. So that was your quote today. Thank you so much for joining me today and Desmond Tutu and the lighthouse. I hope that the every time you see a lighthouse now that you'll uh, be in, inspired, that you'll be encouraged and you'll be motivated to find your light. Always remember though, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, make it the best experience, hopeful, light-driven experience that you can have because you deserve it. You deserve it. I know that we like to tell ourselves that we don't, but we deserve hope because God gave us hope when Jesus died on the cross. And I ain't going to start preaching here. But there are so many things that we can attach to to find hope. And I hope you find yours. So do it with greatness. Do it with the IEM. And do it absolutely and positively. That's our show, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to subscribe to Mute Mogul Media where we are tirelessly working for you to create content that we think that you'll like and that you'll keep subscribing, okay? Thank you so much. And until next time, absolutely positively with Denny K. Take care. God bless.